some of my history just spiritually and with fasting just the progression of my relationship with God Jesus and the Holy Spirit so for years in the past I would find myself partially just being real partially believing in God but then also exploring different modalities and or not being all in versus there came a point about a year to two years ago where different crises and different things were escalating to a point where I was brought to a point to go all in. Uh, basically, for lack of a better term, to shit or get off the pot. And I felt compelled, and I know that may sound really weird if I'm talking about God, but hey, uh, I felt really, really compelled and that literally my soul was in the balance, many other people's lives were in the balance if I was to make the incorrect decision. So I don't take that or sharing this in any way, shape or form lightly. That led to then, and in the past I had done numerous different Bible studies. Uh, Mount Perrin Church in Atlanta was my home for about three years once I moved to Atlanta. Then uh, Buckhead Church for a while. I would also attend Passion City, The Grove with women in Atlanta. And then I was drawn dramatically last year to and the year before to transformation church with pastor michael todd with the crazy faith series relationship goals stride fruitful I literally i devoured and that is the correct word devour the series beyond that i continued into studies like 2020 vision last year with christine kane armor of god with Priscilla Shire, which dramatically shifted things from a spiritual warfare aspect. And the year before last and into last year, I read through the Bible two times straight through. I'm now on the third time straight through. And each and every time, you know, whether it's God, whether it's Jesus interceding, whether it's the Holy Spirit, one of my favorite verses is the spirit blows as it wishes and you're neither nor its sound or nor where it's coming from shifts things dramatically as I grow. And that's impacted my morning routines, my night routines, how I interact with, you know, like-minded people, how I choose to love no matter what, uh, night routines, morning routines, aligning, you know, in money, in business, every single thing. And a big part of that shift, which leads to today and now in this place, last year was escalating my fasts. So what do I mean by that? So I did my one of my first fasts that I was really, really aware of in 2010, a Daniel fast with Mount Perrin and the group of young adults. Then, you know, I think a couple years later, I did another one that was similar to a Daniel fast. And then last year and the year before, I began to take fasting extremely seriously. And especially, you know, different things that are said, you know, that Jesus says spiritually, that Yeshua says that some things only come out by fasting, by prayer and fasting. And I definitely started to notice that on a dramatic level in 2019 with different things on a spiritual and mental level and bondage. 2019, my, my word was freedom, which brought up a lot. And then last year I started to elevate and do a minimum of three day fast with the intention of doing an Esther fast, meaning three days, um, mainly if not all water, and really, really being led to the Holy Spirit in the sense of not doing it from a sense of legalism, but letting God interrupt and flow. So initially I booked this place from Friday to Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I got divinely downloaded and interrupted and on a practical level with my next place that I should extend to Monday. So that was one thing. Then the other thing was that I initially thought I would do solely water, which right now I am doing water, but I'm also doing cacao nibs which was interesting because I didn't expect that. And I was at Chaco Museo last week in Antigua and fell in love with the nibs and felt compelled to make it part of my fast. And so they're literally tiny pieces of cacao and nibs and they taste like a, 
combination of dark chocolate and coffee and they're tiny so it's literally nibs and this place you guys blissful bliss land has been the perfect place for the fast so i got here yesterday right around six o'clock i had already separated my bags in that i put some things in my backpack that for the clothes that i would need for while i was here I knew there was gonna be an outdoor shower. I knew it was a bell tent, so you'll see some of that in the behind the scenes and in my specific video for the Blissland tent, the shorter version. And um, I knew that they were gonna have, or they have a separate uh, storage slash, you know, kind of closet basically that you can lock your other things in. So I've got my luggage locked in in there. I've got my luggage locked in there, my laptop, several other things, my passport. And then in my tent, I just, I simply have, you know, my basic clothes, uh, some of my skincare with Herbalife. And you can see behind me, there's a door and we have a double lock and this entire space is private. And Kadi and Chitan, if I'm pronouncing their names correctly, the owners actually live in the property on the other side when I walk over through this private enclosed space to go use the compost to toilet and or access the storage space. And so I arrived here at six o'clock and immediately felt, you know, just bliss, blissfully having arrived at Blissland. And there's also a hammock, the outdoor shower, you'll see the bell tent and the compost toilet. So it's very, very sustainable and environmentally friendly and very minimal lights and very minimal power, you know, just to charge your phone and things like that, no Wi-Fi. And yesterday, you know, I got situated in the super comfy beds, been drinking a ton of water. They provide water as well. And breakfast if you wanna pre-order the day before. So likely I will pre-order for Monday unless I decide to do breakfast in town. And um, I read in the Bible yesterday so actually let me back up i always also have an intention for the fast and for this fast my intention has been around forgiveness and grace specifically around the areas of purpose people and profits so i've been immersing myself with that in mind and every fast for me changes i've been immersing myself with this fast with that in mind with verses and forgiveness and mercy and on in alignment with good friday and easter i'm reading the different accounts again of matthew mark luke and john from good friday until easter my last fast i did for three days in atlanta and it was very very centered around i felt it was led to be very very centered around first passion and purpose for day one Second day two was people and profits and provision. And day three was around mate, marriage and motherhood, which is really interesting. And I ended up journaling tons of prayers around all that versus this fast is very different. And that fast, keep in mind, I was in Atlanta in my apartment in November. This fast, I'm here at this beautiful, you know, nature, natural, sustainable place. And, you know, with the theme, like I said, forgiveness and mercy and uh, recounting and reflecting on Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then all this morning here on Saturday, so I arrived yesterday. I read several verses around that yesterday. I read a chapter in the spiritual warfare book. And then this morning, I read in the Bible, Deuteronomy. I also read in Proverbs. I also read very pointed verses in mercy and in forgiveness in my prayer journal and then felt divinely downloaded led to, which is what I'm going to do next, read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John with specifically what Jesus did for us and specifically on mercy, grace, and forgiveness. And I've been drinking water. I've been nibbing on the cocoa nibs. And I journal division and gratitude. And I'm about to go lay in this beautiful hammock and I'll be reading at least Matthew likely before I head into town. So just sharing with you guys, uh, part of day one into day two. And I'll either share with you later on the fast if anything else specifically comes to mind and or I'll share with you guys tomorrow morning on whatever else came up today into tomorrow and I may go jump 
off of Cerro de la Cruz in the reserve uh, cliff jumping today or I'm thinking I may save it for tomorrow with Easter Sunday and I'm also contemplating doing the either sunrise or sunset hike with Indian hike which gives beautiful views of either sunrise or sunset of Lake Atitan. So there you have it. Feel free to share comments. You know, have you fasted before? Are you thinking about it? Because I'm a big believer you don't run across things like this by accident at all. And so feel free to comment below, share, tag me, any takeaways, and chat soon.